commercial carcinoma. Porous commercial carcinoma accounts for almost 90% of all oral cancers. It was reported to be a disease of elderly because it commonly affected males over the age of 50. But recently, a bimodal distribution of cases has been reported with some patients reporting as early as in second decade or third decade of life. Squamous cell carcinoma is a malignant neoplasm of stratified squamous epithelium in the oral cavity. It is capable of local destructive growth and distant metastasis. Oral squamous cell carcinoma arises from mucosal epithelium of the oral cavity and shows variable squamous differentiation. Oral squamous cell carcinoma is among the 10 most common cancers worldwide. Around 3 lakh new cases are reported worldwide annually, which amounts to around 3% of total cancers. In the United States, in the year 2024, 58,000 new cases of oral and oropharyngeal cancers were reported. There were more than 12,000 deaths. More than 90% of cancers in the oral cavity are squamous cell carcinoma. High rates of oral squamous cell carcinoma are seen in Asia. It is the leading cause of cancer-related death for men in India. Oral squamous cell carcinoma is seen predominantly in older patients, but it is also common in younger adults less than 45 years of age. Overall, average age is 63 years. This cancer is seen predominantly in males, but overall, the male to female differential, differential is decreasing. If it occurs in young patients, it is associated with dyskeratosis congenita and Fanconi's anemia. There is marked intercountry variation in both the incidence and mortality of oral squamous cell carcinoma. The evidence is growing of intercountry differences, including ethnic differences in incidence and mortality. It occurs on lower lip tongue, floor of the mouth, soft palate, gingiva or alveolar ridge and buccal mucosa. The etiology is unknown but a number of etiological factors have been implicated. Oral squamous cell carcinoma has strong association with tobacco, chronic alcohol consumption and human papilloma virus infection. Oral squamous cell carcinoma has weak association with Ill-fitting danger which causes chronic irritation, some mucous fibrosis, poor hygiene, nutritional deficiencies, exposure to sunlight and Plama Vinson syndrome. So to conclude, oral squamous cell carcinoma accounts for almost 90% of all oral cancers. Human papilloma virus and herpes are the most studied and to date are both considered the most frequently associated viruses involved with human oral cancer.